How's it going everybody? I think we have boat week going on here because I have another boat to show you the new Pro Boat River Jet. This is a ready to run deep V boat. Take it over the table, take a closer look at it and go over the specs. And as always, a quick look at the box. This one is 23 inches in length and has an eight inch beam. In the box is the boat, a small stand and the radio. You need four AA batteries for the transmitter and you also need your main running battery. This one comes with the same radio as the Patrol Boat STX2 2.4 GHz radio. And of course it has the same features with throttle and steering reversal, throttle and steering trim, and throttle and steering rates along with throttle endpoint adjustments. And of course you have a manual. On page 8 is a 17 step instruction guide for servicing and maintaining the main drive shaft. So Horizon did put up a video which goes over all of these steps. And what I'll do is I'll put a link to that in the description. And you get an antenna tube, a bind plug, and a strip of non-slip material. You get a basic plastic boat stand, but it does have these padded strips on the edges, so that's a nice touch. All right, let's take a look at this boat and go over the specs. This is an ABS plastic boat. I went ahead and put on that antenna pole because it looks better with it on. This boat can be run with a two to four cell LiPo battery. In the manual, you'll find the programming guide for the ESC. Make sure you set the right LiPo cutoff for whatever battery you're using. With a four cell, this thing should be pretty darn fast. Give you guys a look at the bottom, you can see the intake there in the back. So to get into the hatch, you do have four thumb screws you need to take off. On the left side there, you have the battery tray and some Velcro straps already in place. Got your receiver over there and your on-off switch. Motor is a 2300 kV 14 pole brushless outrunner. You've got a 90 amp ESC. ESC has an EC3 connector. And give you guys a look at the motor and drive shaft. And there you have the steering servo on the port side. On the starboard side, you have a servo bay, which allows you to install an optional trim servo. If you do install that servo, you would need to change the radio system. And so you can also see you have water cooling for the motor mount and also for the ESC. Drainage plug. This boat can be self-righted and the manual tells you how to do it. So maybe at some point, you guys will see a running video on this channel for this. But right now, I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of them popping up on YouTube, so check them out. It's a really nice looking boat. I'm sure with the four cell LiPo, this thing will absolutely blaze across the water. It's got the self-riding feature, and it looks good. Thanks for watching, guys, and any questions, please post below. See you next time.